ladies and gentlemen, wonderful people, this is Call of Duty Fanatics. Welcome back to another Warzone report. And this one is going to be hugely important because Activision just one hour ago released a full roadmap about what can we expect in a Warzone Season 4 Reloaded. So guys, it's an absolute imperative that you stay with us until end of this video so you can learn everything what's coming with the latest Warzone Season 4 Reloaded update that's due to be live and operational next Thursday, which is 15th of July. Warzone has received several innovations since its launch. From in-game events like the Haunting of Verdansk to Resurgence modes, and even a bit of 50 vs 50 rumbling, which used to be called Warzone Rumble. Now, as a part of Season 4 Reloaded, the massive free-to-play experience will introduce its newest objective-based mode, which is going to be called Payload. Inspired by previous traditional Call of Duty game modes like Call of Duty World War II's War Mode, Payload pits two teams of 20 players against each other in a race against time for crucial intel, as these vehicles carry satellite parts that could help shift the balance of the war between Perseus and NATO. If the attacking team escorts all vehicles across all checkpoints within the time limit, they win the match. The defending team can not only pick attackers of the payload vehicles to slow them down, but also buy and build obstacles to stall these vehicles on the track. This all happens as operators are dropping in constantly with their own custom loadouts, searching for items across Verdansk like cash and killstreaks to aid their team in escorting or stopping the payload. Look for Payload in the future playlist rotation as part of Season 4 Reloaded. And honestly speaking, guys, I'm very excited about this mode. Because I used to be a die hardcore fan of uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2, and the whole concept of that game was like 20 versus 20 in a one big rumble uh, defending and attacking positions. And I'm really, really happy that we are getting some kind of a refreshment that's so much needed in a war zone and this mode is going to be something completely different and i love the idea of two teams 20 against 20 fighting a completely different objectives uh, we are also going to have a new event uh, in the season 4 reloaded which is going to be called blueprint uh, blitz now, similar to double XP weekends, Raven Software is planning to activate a new special global event where contraband contracts automatically spawn after you complete two regular contracts. Contraband contracts award uh, you with a permanent weapon blueprint reward if you are able to extract it from the DZ, in addition to tons of cash within your current match. A blueprint Blitz should give you the opportunity to earn plenty of weapon blueprints from prior seasons. If you missed out or didn't play Warzone during the time these were originally available, contraband contracts award you with previous seasonal rewards after you complete the contract. So honestly speaking, I think that we will have the opportunity uh, to claim like a mud drauber which was the blueprint from bunker number 11, then maybe um, the Bruin blueprint from the underground a train station easter egg and those kind of things. So should be very interesting. I'm also looking forward to some other blueprints that I actually never got during the modern warfare times, but it's definitely going to be interesting and I'm looking forward to this uh, mode as well. And now the most important thing which kind of smells like a potential easter egg or some side quest that we need to do is something about the red doors. So brave operators across Verdansk have gone through the red doors stepping out into parts unknown which is basically the Perseus stations that we all experienced. Now they also uh, issued uh, one very I would say kind of a mysterious message 
and I am going to read this message to you and then I have my translation of it. So further intel suggests that these red doors will appear redacted and take you to redacted. As Perseus' a sleeper cells are still at large in Verdansk, we caution you to redacted. So, ladies and gentlemen, when you take out the redacted out of equation, I actually got this solution for this secret message. So brave operators across Verdansk have gone through the red doors, stepping out into parts unknown. Further intel suggests that these red doors will appear frequently and take you to new locations. As Perseus sleeper cells are still at large, we caution you to stay frosty. Now this could be the possible solution for this riddle that we got in the latest Activision transmission or blog uh, about the Warzone mid-season 4 uh, update. But uh, it's going to be very interesting because the new locations, they are mentioning the new locations that Red Doors are going to transfer us. Now what these new locations could actually be, uh, I assume that we are going to have bunkers. I strongly believe that the new locations could definitely be bunkers. Alternative is that the Red Doors are going to transfer us to, for example, uh, maybe Old Mine or some parts of salt mine, that's also very possible. Anyways, we are definitely getting some new locations and I sincerely hope that we are talking about the bunkers. New killstreak is also coming to Warzone, which is called Sentry Gun. So I'm not 100% sure how the Sentry Gun is going to work in Warzone, is it going to be OP and those kind of things, but uh, let's assume the best, so I'm really looking forward to test the sentry gun in a war zone. And last but not least and equally important is the war zone update size. So for PlayStation 5 this uh, latest mid-season update is going to wait 8.9 GBs. For PlayStation 4 is the same. Xbox is on 9.2 GBs and Xbox One as well 9.2 GBs. And for PC uh, for Modern Warfare, 10.4 GBs if you have Modern Warfare as well on your system. And if not, if you only have Warzone, the update uh, is going to wait 9.2 GBs. Anyway, my fellow Verdansk citizens, that would be all for today's report. I'm kind of excited uh, for the mid-season 4 update. But on the other hand, I'm also afraid that we are not going to get as much as we expected. But anyways... It's just a couple of days before we finally see what's going to happen. Uh, thank you all for your attention. I hope you like this small report. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future great Call of Duty content. And until next time, my fellow Verdansk citizens, I wish you all the best and stay frosty.